Hi, I'm Lisa Clark, and today I'm going to show you how to spool a DCD duct rotter. The key to properly spooling a duct rotter is to push the rod into the cage, as opposed to trying to rotate the cage on its own. Pushing the rod avoids crimping and ensures that the rod remains in good condition. Make sure to evenly layer the rod as it builds up inside the cage, especially on longer lengths of rod, because it can fill the cage. Use the brake handle to control the speed of the rotating cage. It may also be a good idea to clean the rod occasionally to reduce wear on the jacket. When you're finished spooling the rod, make sure to place the end inside the cage for safety and portability. Over time, the polyurethane parts such as the D-ring washer, rod guide, and brake handle may wear down, but replacement parts can be purchased at minimal cost. If you have any questions on our duct rotters or any of our other products, please contact us at 1-866-794-8357 or visit us at www.dcddesign.com.